Hello and welcome to Feed Felden. Well, we're going to be doing a big, big harvest on that bottom field. So we've got the the class down there ready to go. Also got a John Deere header down at the field already, plus the, the lorry stroke truck to collect the maize. But I'm going to get a nice big fast cheating harvester to help us out so let's take a look at that the harvesters there we go and get the reaper 2000 fast so let's have a look at that we're going to lease it so the capacity we're going to go for is, oh, what's the capacity on that? That is 50,000 litres, 100,000. We'll go for 500,000 litres. Right, the engine. We'll go for the I got the eight one five. Go for the biggest wheel brand, and we'll leave it as it is. We'll set up brands. We don't need all that type of stuff. Right. So let's see what that can do. It's going to cost a bundle to lease. 29,000 to lease. Plus it costs us a good 6,000 to lease. So we're looking at about 35,000 all in for that. Plus, of course, the hourly and daily costs that are to come. But hopefully we'll be able to recover it from from the field but and we need to get that field clear as quickly as possible and yes let's go okay right there it is jump it all right get it all started up we'll dash on down to the Not sure how fast this will harvest that, but uh, we'll see. It won't have to be continuously emptied, that's the, the big point. We'll just cut across our grass here. No, we shouldn't be doing this across the field, but uh, let's get down there quickly. We have started trying to bring the grass in, but uh, I think this harvesting job needs to be done first. We are busy planting uh, maize in the, what I would call the top field. Just going to let it, put it onto a worker, let it refill it once already. That's another job that we need to look at is trying to find something with a bigger seeding capacity. But that's for another day. Right, let's get this hooked up. Get that unfolded. Put it onto a worker. Quite a small machine for the kind of speed that it looks like it's going to go at. I thought it would be if maybe I've missed something. 
but it might might have been uh, harvesting at a higher speed. Still only six miles an hour. I have used the I've forgotten what it's called before. That kind of zooms along at like fifty miles an hour. There we go, not to worry, we can leave that for now and we'll get on down to the harvester here, the class, get him onto work as well and we can go and sort out bits and pieces of everything else just for the meantime until the first load is ready to be harvested. Alright, he's off. Also at 6 miles an hour. About half the distance. Let's just get that going. Okay, we'll take this up to the... Up to the farm. I am, I am considering putting in a silo down at the bottom end of this field. Or maybe at the bottom... Um, I think that's where I will do it if I do do it uh, at the bottom open air garden. Just because of the size of these fields, it might be good to have a silo kind of adjacent and opposite, well not adjacent, a diagonal, diagonally across from where our farm is, just so that we're not, it'll kind of half our distance to get to our nearest um, silo, so I think that'll be done. First of all, this is going to go into the farm production so we can get hay started. While that's happening, let's go and get it activated. Grass hay. Activate. Yep, there we go. So now we've got hay producing. We don't have any straw in here, so we'll have to. Next time we do straw, we'll have to bring some straw to to here. We've got straw. Oh, we've well, we've obviously converted it all into. into um, into silage but a heavy amount of silage um, TMR I think we can do TMR in, in here as well total mix ration Yeah, hay and silage. We can do it with hay and silage. Let's get that activated as well. So it's a half and half. Good feed. Good feed. Alright, let's get a couple of these loads in before we have to empty the first load of uh, of maize out and we'll get back to you once we once the first load of maize is ready to collect right so the first one is full already <laughs> you only got it three quarters of the way down such a low capacity. Let's get into the lorry and go and get him sorted out. So I am considering, I think I'm going to do it, I'm going to get another harvester going. Because that one can only do six miles an hour. I thought it was going to be able to do quicker than that. I might have done something wrong. But we'll go and lease another, another one so it'll 
it'll, it's gonna not make it's gonna make us not too too productive on this or too well we'll see we'll see how much money we make if we make anything right here we go what are we doing, we doing harvesters what's the difference on this one oh, so the overall speed is lower at 29 miles an hour I wonder if there's different headers for that. There might be. Okay, so I'm going to just do it as it is. It'll only be a half cheat then. Only really cheating on the capacity. Uh, that's not where we want to be. We want to be here. So we'll do this fast one so it can move faster between the capacity. We'll go for 500,000 again. Go for, let's go for the even higher horsepower on this one. And Release that. Yeah, I can't see any any other way to increase the harvesting speed. So it might be it might be that there are specialized headers for that. I'm not going to worry about that now. Um, release thirty one thousand for the the extra horsepower. <laughs> Horsepower, horsepower. So it's probably going to cost us a hundred thousand. All this leasing cost is somewhere around there, maybe a little bit over. Hopefully, we can recover the cost from the sale of the of the crop. And we need to go and lease a header now. Corn header. Do the big jump deer. So at least harvesting. Bigger area details lease. There we go. Right, let's get that done. We'll have to do the. We'll do the first run ourselves. Put it in the middle somewhere. Well, we'll put it sort of a third of the way, not a third of it, maybe a quarter of the way from the um, from the class harvester, and then we'll get it moving back towards the other the other reaper. See it once we're down there. Well, here we are back down here. I think if we start around about here ish. Dead opened. We're gonna have to do this one out this first lap ourselves just so we can get it going the right way. So what I'll do is I'll just go and load this up quickly. Or offload this should I say. Okay, just along the worker. Well, at least the yield is going to be high, so we're going to get a lot of product, which is going to help with alleviating the extra costs that we're incurring in harvesting this. It's just so painful to do that first harvest. That's going nicely. Right, so let's get. It unfolded. And I 
Off we go. This look good. There we go. Nice little spin around. Giving you a little bit of a look at the operation of the whole thing. I see it as empty again, so once we've got this going, we'll have to go and sort that out as well. Just change the direction. Yeah. Don't touch the buttons. <laughs> I'll see you once this is done. Right, so we've just finished that first pass, and I'm just going to give it a bit of an overlap, this first run back up. Still can't even see the other one. At least you can see the other end of the field from here in the middle where there's a bit of a rise, you couldn't see that at all. You might have noticed that I had to just go and sort out the class. I forgot to set it off after I had uh, moved it to offload it. Just noticed that, noticed it hit as I was driving past. So I went and sorted that out. So while that's done there now, just going to flip over to top up the seeds for the, with the, um, planter love the way the uh, the worker just absconds when he's uh, when he's finished um, When he's finished, um, oh well, when he's run out of seat, just decides to go home. Right, top that up. Is that all the seed there was? We'll have to go and fetch some more seed. Let's fill up the right. Let's get back into the going to need to uh, work out a, a better system of planting well, of getting enough seed into the planters for doing this big field. I think I've still got some seed in the store. The only good thing of course is that this, uh, this little van truck can shift it's re relatively quick speed wise to get back to the farm. A feeling that these seed bags are also like half full. Don't know if we've got any seed left. Might have used it all now. Seeds, and now we've got another one of them. And yeah, so we'll buy another one. 
take two bags down. Seeds. I'll buy just the one for now. And we can load up the fertilizer as well. How much have we got in here? Seed what? That's full. That's good. Oh, just put it back in. Goodness. That's what happens when these, as I've mentioned before, you forget that these, these uh, triggers are so, so close together. Just want to get this from the side. Just a more efficient way of loading. I can get three bags on without a problem. Not much in the way of fertilizer, but I think we've got enough fertilizer. Here. Just topped it up again, so I think we should have enough fertilizer. All right, so just picking up the why oh, doesn't it want to fit in now? Oh, what's happening here? Okay. Just strap it in and drive with the back down. I got three in there the last time. Right, we'll just nip on back. We'll see you once we have the uh, cedar. Right, so as you saw there, I rolled the van. <laughs> Hopefully this will be able to fix it up, but it's going to take us a while to get there. So once we get there, we will get back to you. That did a good job. <laughs> oh dear. Well, let's leave that there for now. 
Now that's going to come back to haunt us sooner or later. This is not going very well, this one. And it's just a, take it easy. Go and get it filled up. And I'm pretty sure that we need to go and empty out the um, class harvester. Go and have a look and see how the others are doing as well. side just to make sure we get into the right vehicle. There we go. Close enough. Again, to finish the job. Here we go. Right, let's just get out of his way and we'll get him on to work at going again. Right. Convinced that this will need to be emptied. I think I did miss the actual advice. Or warning or whatever you want to call it that it's full we'll just empty this out and then what I'll do is I'll do the rest off camera until we just about there just about finished and um, I'll get back to you really not doing very well Just catch the uh, the other reaper, second reaper in the background. Before we go off, now we'll just go and check how, how the other two are doing see how much they've got in there, whether we're going to have to empty them at any stage. Bearing in mind this only takes about 10,000 litres. This harvester. It's actually quite a baby one. Certainly not suitable for a field of this size. Definitely need you need at least three 
I would say maybe three of those reapers actually working on a field like this to do it in a decent amount of time. Alright, so that's got 138,000 litres in it already. That's the first one that we had going. This one's on 82,000. Can't really see each other yet, so that's going to take a while. So we'll just leave them to it, and we'll carry on with this. And get back to you once it's done. Or oh, just about done. Well, welcome back. We just about finished the the harvest. We looking at about just after twelve o'clock in the evening. The second reaper is full. We have already taken one and emptied it out into the into the silos on the farm. So we have this little bit left to clear off. And I think we'll just do that with the with our own which where is it there? It is there. With our own harvester. Let's just jump in with that. Right. We'll get that going. That's not really going to scan to create a bit of a problem on the way back I think because it's so much narrower tell you what I'm going to do I, I had left the harvest the John Deere of, um, header yeah so what I'm going to do that's from the other what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if it'll work on this on this class let's just drop that off Yeah, so a hang of a lot quicker than it was the last time. I think the, the, the first field that we did took about three days to office um, just using the class. Um, this has taken well, from about four o'clock um, in the afternoon till now, which is 23, 26, probably going to fin finish just after midnight. Um, What I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish this off manually quickly until we get back to well it seems to be going at the same speed although I think we are on a little bit of a downhill going to finish this off manually myself because we'll have to go back back up and then we'll uh, let it um, harvest that thin slither of um, of maize just to finish it off yeah the harvest went pretty smoothly um, I think the class did about I would say um, just over a hundred and hundred and twenty thousand well just under hundred and twenty thousand liters the first reaper was full for five hundred thousand liters We've got another full five hundred thousand so that's a million liters million two that's a little bit coming here so about a million three um, we're going to be selling this on the global market for export I think that's where we're going to get our be best price. Um, we'll check it out, but I think that's going to be. We'll do the high finance once we get back to the farm. There weren't any major mishaps. Any mishap I've had today was um, rolling the small van stroke truck with some seed and fertilizer on the back um, we had to get the front end loader to 
come and help us out. It was a bit of a, a bit of overconfidence in the speed of the of the little van. The seeding of the field is finished. Just let it run until it ran out of um, seed again, so slightly bigger field than it was the last time. Yeah, it seems to be struggling with a little uphill here. You could probably would struggle with that if it was trying to harvest. But it'll be a fairly flat run to the top here, so no problem. Well, in fact, I can take it off and put the normal one on. And we can just return everything once we got to the top and offload it. Put the normal one back on. We're back to normal. Yes, yeah, so I made your job. Got it done fairly quickly. I suppose we did cheat for about the first for the first little while until I realised I was on the wrong timing speed, but most of it's been done on three times speed, so you're reasonably happy with that. And there we go. Jump out and get into the to the reaper again, and we'll see you when we get back up to the farm. Let's lift that Have to get move a lot quicker. So I'm glad I got the foster um, harvester because it's got 500,000 liters. Um, once it's full. It would actually require a bit of uh, fairing if it was um, for it to transfer it into into lorries or trucks or some sort of transport system. But this way, because it can do 50 miles an hour, um, you can just drive the harvester, literally split up to wherever it needs to be to offload. I did do a bit of an experiment to try and put another silo down near the other open gar garden, but for some reason it wouldn't. I tried to, to put in the silo that comes with the with the farm, but it wouldn't. Um, oh, with the map, should I say? Um, but it wouldn't. Um, for some reason, it just wouldn't um, render out. So it showed that it was. That it could be placed, but then as soon as you try to place it, it just disappeared. It didn't charge you anything, so. So I, st I, I didn't pursue that. Oops, don't knock the fuel station out. Go fill that up, and then we'll have a look and see what we've got. See what we can sell it, with. and get these back to the to the store before the next. Hopefully, before twelve o'clock, when the next uh, charging cycle would come in. Come on, unload, unload, unload. <laughs> Right, um, let's get those back. Harvesters, return. Yes, return. Yes, corn headers, return. Yes. Whew. That saved a bit of money. <laughs> there we go, so we got uh, 1.168. Hundred and sixty-eight 
That's a little bit more corn than I thought so. And there must have been another load. Oh, there, there was. There was some that were... Because it was 50... Just under 60,000 per trailer. It was two trailers. And then there was... Um, so that's just under 130,000. Another 30,000. So there must have been three trailers that came in. In the event, let's go. That's done now. So... Get that. Just fold it up. And we'll head off back to the farm and go and offload that. And I think there might still be some in the. There might be a load in the lorry as well. Well, I'm not sure. Maybe not. But this is another. Another f just under 6,000 in here, so let's get it all in so that we can get it sold. We do sell it from our from our um, from our silo, so it gets picked up. We pay for um, all its costs and everything like that, all in the price. We do tend to get quite good prices on the export market, so. question of whether we're going to cover the I'm going to say it would be close to a hundred thousand there was another there was another payment which went through of, of 30, 30 odd thousand plus 30, 60, 90 so yeah just over a hundred thousand was the total cost of uh, of the leasing of the two the two combined, so it's going to be interesting to see how much we make. Right, so that's that just about in. As soon as that's offloaded, I'll just go and check the lorry, see if there's anything in there. Yep, there is. So we'll get that on back up to the... Just under another 10,000 there. It's all adding up. We've just gone into... April. As soon as this is done, we will call it a day. Decide what we're going to do with this field. In the next episode, we've got so much land now that yeah, I'm not quite sure what to do with it. <laughs> Just don't really have the equipment to work these big fields so we'll see how much we how much we can um, raise from selling of our, our product um, this month April and maybe we can start buying some bigger machinery to try to start converting this farm to the right sort of size I think we'll be able to do that quite quickly once the mayonnaise sales kick in properly or to their full capabilities. Not sure we'll ever be able to get it to full production, but yep, move the stuff out of the way first. So keen to get this finished now.
the wrong thing. Gotta find a place to park the the hidden, huh? Suppose it can go down here as well. Put this into the queue for washing. We'll do that in the morning. No sense in doing it this time of the night. We uh, we have also rolled the um, the wheat that we planted. So this month we'll have to weed and fertilize it. Put a second fertilizer, second fertilizing down. Right, so let's get just get out that, and then we'll just we'll just pop into the office and we'll go and do a bit of um, high finance. Right, so we're on the global market, we've got corn to sell. So where's the corn price? Thirteen fifty. What have we got on the normal market? Corn and what are these buy stations? Yes, yeah, so nothing in in the thirteen hundreds yet. Yeah, it's all way down, so not that much more. So let's go and have a look and see what we can do. Yeah, corn. And sell to the global market. Sell to the global market. Sell the whole lot, which is one, one, seven, four, four, two, five. So one million one hundred and seventy four thousand four hundred and twenty five delivery price is only eighty. So oh no <laughs> that was bushful thinking. Four thousand so that gives us one point five million. Well no. We'll sell. There we go. 1.76 million in the bank. I think we're going to be able to expand. Wow. So that means we've got to get those fields working. We've got to get, even if we're leasing harvesters, it works. Oh, we still got a bit left in yet. We didn't empty this. <laughs> We'll keep that for now. Never know. Might be able to use it somewhere. Well, on that note, put this in the queue for washing as well in the morning. On that note, we will end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the surprise of the massive income. I'm not too worried about using the global market for that, although we did make a little bit more than we would have. It's not with it's not that much more. We would have still made over well over a million in profit. So regardless of the hundred thousand odd cost to lease the extra equipment, well worth it. Once again, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this ep episode, please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio.